Hi everybody, welcome to the video and welcome to Savers. We're actually going to go to Goodwill a little bit later in the video. Um, but we made a small trip here, a quick trip over to Savers, and we got a few little things, nothing crazy um, as far as volume goes, but as far as the dollar amount goes, we got some heavy hitters here. And um, we're going to pick up, see that cat right across the way there? That's actually from Star Wars, and it's actually a Disneyland which I don't think they make that anymore. So we're definitely going to pick that guy up for sure. I have sold that before. And now I'm looking at the glass case. And the last time I was here at Savers, the glass case didn't look that great. Um, right now I'm looking at that Superman um, tin uh, uh, lunchbox. I'm looking at the minifigures. And I'm also looking at that. There's a knife right there. And that is a WR case knife. So... Let's take a look at this. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. Well, I see the condition. I'm looking to see if the thermos is in there, and no, it's not. If the thermos was in there, it was a little bit better condition. It could be a fifty to eighty dollar lunchbox. This knife, though, I was like, whoa, hold on. There's two knives in there. I didn't realize there were gonna be two knives in there. That's really nice. Their case, uh, the brand is WR Case or just Case Knife. Um, I believe the model is Twin X X Twin Fin. They're in excellent condition. Don't think they've ever been used. Still has the warranty card in there as well too. It is now. This was um. So on the box it was dated. Uh, I think it was October two thousand four. Which now makes it, now that we're in 2024, over it's now 20 years old, which now makes it a vintage piece. So we are definitely going to take those knives. Uh, we have a 20% off coupon, so it's listed for $50. bucks. we are going to get it uh, for $40. Now, I wanted to look at those minifigures, but you kind of put them over to the side. And these other uh, people were there. So they, while well, I was looking at the knife and looking at the lunchbox, they got, you know, uh, first dibs here on the minifigures. Uh, however, there was really, really nothing uh, of interest here, really. Captain Marvel. Um, there's like a... Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much looking for anything maybe I don't have in my own collection or anything Star Wars, really. Star Wars are really um, resellable. They tend to um, have some good value. Or I'm looking for anything unique. You know, usually unique, um, like, um, prints or molds, like head molds on them can bring some pretty good value. But I didn't see anything really there I liked. Oh, this cat, $24. Um, of course, got 20% off that. And this is the Loth. Loth? I'm not sure how to pronounce it properly, but L-O-T-H cat. It's from the uh, Star Wars Rebel series. But uh, just a great piece. If you ever see it, pick it up. And used it goes for about 40 to 50 this one has the tags on it so it's probably going to go more closer to 80 dollars but a great piece i like i said i don't think they make it anymore so if you see it out there grab it if it's a decent price um 25 eh, a little bit less than 25 20 percent off 25 is a little you know it's gonna be okay we're gonna make some good money um next i'm picking up this box this is um Little bubble mailers. It says for DVDs, but you can really use it for anything. And a uh, box of 25 for 3 bucks, A little bit less than 3 bucks because we get 20% off. Uh, and that's a great deal. So, 25 bubble mailers for less than $3. I'm definitely going to pick that up. Mm, I thought if this was electric, that might have been worth it. But, nah. It's just like a little resin with piece with a manual sharpener glued to it. Nah, no, nah, no, nah, we're passing that up for sure. Oh, I wanted to open this. I just wanted to make sure. Always check the boxes because you never know 
if what's on the box is actually what's inside because this has been taped over again so i wanted to just um make sure that those were actually bubble mailers there so i'm gonna take those a lot a lot of people here today so we'll definitely do a recap at the end of this video of what i purchased at both locations savers and um and goodwill <clears throat> i see a lot of people's videos out there a lot of people that i watch oh really quick this is a, a on the baggy wall which is what i was going to address right now that is a doctor who uh pizza uh cutter and last sold comps are right around 20 ish dollars i think there was one for 23 dollars the bag i it I think it was $3.99. We'll go over everything again, like I said, at the end of the video. But great pickup. Not all, you know, Doctor Who does does well, but I was like, all right, I'll throw it in the cart. I'll look it up. And sure enough, it can make some pretty good profit. We'll make a, we'll make a pretty good profit on it, is what I should say. But um, I see a lot of people... At other Goodwills, thrift stores, they have a baggy wall. And here, the only thing that really has a baggy wall is save, you know, savers. And some other, uh, you know, the Goodwills will have baggy items, but they're more just stubbed in a, you know, in a aisle, you know, shelving area. And it's very hard to see, you know, what what's in there. You know, you got to go digging through them, and sometimes they're stapled, so you got to be careful. And you, gotten you know stuck with staples numerous times trying to go through those little baggies at goodwill which why I, li I like the baggy wall because i can glance and see and um uh i don't get stuck with uh <laughs> with with uh what do you call it um staples can't think of the word right now melt glass there's a lot there's several melt glass pieces here melt glass you get a lot of views when you put milk glass out there on eBay. You get a lot of views on it, but no one wants to pay anything for it, so I leave it all behind. And we're gonna go over to Goodwill. Here we are in Goodwill now. <laughs> um, I put this in the cart. It's like a, a, a way to wirelessly. Uh, stream your what you're doing on your laptop to a TV or another monitor. Um, turns out not to be really worth anything. So I'm going to put it in the cart just to look at it. But we're not going to get it. Some of these meat thermometers can do really well. Especially when you find the ones that are... Um, uh, it's like just a thermometer. But it has... Uh, you know, Bluetooth, it's Bluetooth capable, and you pretty much just put the thermometer in the meat or whatever it is that you're cooking, and you can monitor it remotely with your phone. So, those ones do incredibly well. Some other ones do okay, just keep an eye on them. Wireless is better. <clears throat> checking out some keyboards, checking out the clicks. That'll be the first tip off if it's, you know, I, I feel the uh, the keys. You'll see me, you know, do that on, you know, whenever I'm looking at keyboards. I'll check the keys first and that'll tip me off as to whether or not, um, as to whether or not if it'll have any value. Then I'll, it, if I determine that it, you know, it does have a, a good feel to it. Then I'll go ahead and proceed to uh, pick it up, and you know, if it has a weight to it, usually if it's a little weighty, it's good. And then um, look up the model, check the model, then look it up. Old school typewriter. I don't really want to deal with it. It probably had some value, but it's gonna be heavy. I ran into. Um, I don't know if anybody that watches the channel also watches Golden State Picker, but he is in San Jose as well too, and I have run into him uh, at you know different spots. And the other day we we're at the flea market, and Matt he had this huge um, vintage steel cool case. It it looked it appeared to me to be close to three foot long. It was it was really long. 
was asked him, man, are you going to ship that? He goes, yes, I am. It's like, wow, three, four. I mean, I've, I've shipped items that long before, but it's really not that. Uh, it, it's a pain. <laughs> it's a pain to ship items, you know, really long items, you know, really big boxes. I could do it, and I do, you know, from time to time. If I need to, if the profit's there. Like I've said before, if the profit is there, I will go after those heavier or, you know, longer shaped items and get them shipped out. But I'd rather deal with small items like that case knife we got earlier at Savers. That goes like in a poly bag and we're going to make some really, really good profit. But we'll talk about that in the recap. Um, Angry Birds. I know some Angry Birds plush can have decent profit in it. Those are pretty, like, deflated plushes uh, i do know the eagle if you find the eagle one from the movie that is definitely one to look out for uh that you know i end up putting those angry birds back the main you know that main red angry bird guy doesn't really do that well at all the yellow one probably around the 20 ish dollar range but I don't know what, what's going on with those, but they're really like deflated. The um the the plush in there just is I don't know. It's either I'm getting the feeling that maybe it's been restuffed or it's been opened up. We'll see. I put it back in it either way. But let me tell you something. We are back on the board with Deneen mugs. This is a collector's piece. I collect these Deneen mugs. They're not incredibly valuable. They're worth about fifteen ish dollars, depending on where they're coming from. If you find Death Wish Coffee, Deneen, that's close to a $100 mug. But uh, I have not found Deneen mugs in a while. And I think I mentioned this in the last video. I haven't found Deneen mugs and I haven't found Glassy Baby in a while. So, we're back on the board with a Deneen mug that's going into the collection. And it's actually from the, the Pancake House, which is really good. So, hopefully Glassy Baby's coming up soon. This is an interesting mug. I looked it up. First of all, it's Microsoft Excel. We're picking it up because Microsoft Excel. <laughs> yeah, um, but that mug, surprisingly, if you guys are into sell-through rate, that thing has a killer sell-through rate. It's almost 100% sell-through rate on that mug. It's not crazy valuable. It's going to be around $2 here at Goodwill. But... It should go for around $15 ish. So if you see that, look out for it. It's a great mug. It seems to sell really well. If you're into Microsoft Excel stuff, cool. Here's some um, just San Francisco souvenir pieces. We're, we're, yeah, I'm, I'm right next to San Francisco, so we're going to get a lot of souvenir stuff. There were a lot of people here tonight, and I mean, you're obviously you're not seeing it in the video because I'm kind of cutting that stuff out, but there were a lot of people in these different aisles. Like, I was trying to go down some aisles, and there was just a bunch of people in there, and I couldn't look. So I was like, all right, well, I'll go circle around. Taking a look at the cart they're rolling out. I think this is some sort of a hair, yeah, a hair piece. It was like $22 or something. I'm like, nah, I'm not even going to bother with that. <clears throat> now, oh, I see some belts here. Now, what, there's an interesting belt. Don't want the horses here. There's a horse, and it's a Justin... Uh, belt, Justin Boots as well too. Justin Boots do incredibly well. They're high-end boots, but they also do belts. They do leather work. So, uh, here's a Justin belt. No price tag on it, and we're going to take it up to the front and get it priced. These airplane, like, model kits, I do really well with, um, die-cast, uh, die-cast airplanes. And so we're going to look up this this uh, model kit. It's a plastic model kit, uh, and it looks like maybe Blue Angels, I think. 
but we're gonna put it in the cart and we are definitely gonna take that calligraphy markers i've done really well with calligraphy pens not really sure about the markers but i look them up and they're not worth it so we're definitely gonna leave that behind and we're gonna come check out this other cart over here now here is something interesting some more angry birds but if you see that angry bird yoda one right there I don't know, and I'm still not 100% sure, but there's an Angry Bird Yoda. It says something like a collection or limited edition. Let me just quickly remember or look it up <laughs> really quick. And it is a... Um, it says sample. That's what it is. Sample. Sample Yoda Angry Bird. That one, ap I, apparently, I think it's labeled or it has a tag that says sample on it. This one has no tags on it, so I'm gonna do a little of a you know, a little bit of a you know, investigative work on it. But that one goes for around eighty dollars if you have the sample one. So I'm gonna have to figure out what the difference is, and I'll probably get back to you guys on that in the recap. But we're checking out the clear glass. And... Nothing, nothing really there. And this is the, uh, the kind of like place that doesn't have a home on the end caps. They usually tend to color, color code the end caps is what it is. And this is this is the aisle where we have found um, uh, the classy baby app at this Goodwill. So, I mean, now that it, it's kind of strange because when we found when we have found Deneen mugs, usually glassy babies start to appear. I don't know why that happens. It's kind of weird. We were finding Deneen and Glassy Baby kind of at the same time, so. I'm, I'm just being extra cautious and checking stuff out. <clears throat> and they are starting to bring Valentine's. I know there's a Starbucks Valentine's cup that's out there that goes for pretty good money, but can't remember exactly what it is these cups here like pottery cups they look really nice but if i remember correctly i believe they're from costco and not much else i'm gonna pick up a lego set from the glass um but we'll go over in the recap here at the end which is right about now Hey everybody, welcome to the recap. So, a couple of quick trips. Um, we really hadn't planned on necessarily going to Savers. Uh, we were making a donation and uh, we're getting our 20% off coupon. So make sure to always keep a stash of, what I do is I keep a stash of donations, kids clothes, you know, they empty out their closets. And I keep a few little stashes here and there in the event we go to Savers. So that way we can get that 20% off coupon and then we can get that 20% off items that we source there. So um, we made a donation. They were like, all right, let's just run in, take a look. I've talked about this before. I'd like to go in there and look at the glass. They tend to get computer components qu um, quite a bit. And so I like to go look and see what they have. And um, hopefully it's not priced up too high. This time we got a couple of uh, great items right from the glass. And then we went walking around. Not too much walking around. Uh, but we did grab that Doctor Who. We'll, we'll go through everything in the video. And then the Goodwill, I hadn't really planned on going to the Goodwill either. So, um, but uh, uh, my wife and my daughter were going to get their nails done. So I was like, all right, well, we're out and about already. I'll just, the Goodwill, it wasn't too far. So I'll go take a look and got some more items to resell. So let's go ahead and jump into the recap. I'm going to cut the video right here. And then you'll see the little picture in picture pop up. Okay, you should be seeing it up over here. And... 
a nice little set of items to list right off the bat is the case knife case is a great brand to look out for and uh, they make usually you'll find pocket knives out there i haven't found any hunting knives before at least at a reasonable price i should say but this little two pack it comes in a set of two it's like a little mini knife the larger knife with it as well with the sheath doesn't look like it's ever been used has the box has the warranty card i'm gonna price that up i couldn't really find any other comps on that exact style so i'm gonna price it up to about 250 dollars and open up best offer and see what happens it should sell for right around 200 dollars what we're looking at so we end up uh it was 50 bucks 49.99 you get the 20 percent off coupon that brings it down to 40 bucks so definitely paying up but for bigger profit willing to pay up for bigger profit <clears throat> then we found this um uh actually i saw the pizza cutter and i noticed that it looked kind of like a lightsaber and upon further inspection it's a doctor who i forget the name of the device that he uses but i still need to just test it out make sure it does have some uh sound i'll double check that that's like a 20 dollar piece this belt i spotted the horses first over at the goodwill on the cart flipped it over saw that it was by justin justin more known for their boots or uh, but they, i mean they do other stuff as well too i saw this belt there it's small but it's still nice it's got the horse um it's got the horses on there you know in the shape of a heart valentine's day is coming up it is a, a great brand name leather dutch itself for around 25 dollars the yoda is not the yoda i was thinking about <laughs> <clears throat> or I should say the Yoda I saw, the the more expensive one. This is just the generic one, so this should... I'm probably going to keep it. You know, it's not worth... I mean, it could be worth like 10 bucks, maybe, 12 bucks, But it's a keeper. Now this here is funny. <laughs> it's Excel. Freak in the Sheets Excel mug. Surprisingly has an amazing... If you guys chase sell-through rate, amazing sell-through rate. Right around $15 or so is where it's going to go for. But really cool mug. And by the way, did you know there's an Excel um, a league? <laughs> it's wild. Um, they have a league throughout the month. They have tournaments throughout the, every month. And then it culminates with the giant uh, championship in Las Vegas in December. Model airplanes. Models can do incredibly well. You have to look them up. You have to make sure you know that you know they are worth it. And this one is, this one's going to be worth about $30. It is the Blue Angels uh, plastic model set. I sell a lot of the die-cast airplanes. Model sets, look them up. That one should be about $30. bucks. i am always a Lego buyer. Always buying Legos for a reasonable price. I'm not going to go outrageous here. But $16 is a little bit close to the outrageous for me. Um, but we're still going to buy it and we're going to hold it either to resell in the future or maybe give, give it as a gift in the future. Another big score, in my opinion, $25 what we paid for it. Paid a little bit less because of the 20% off coupon. But this plush, and the reason why I knew this plush uh, was because I had resold it before and I've seen it in Disneyland. It is an electronic Lothcat, I believe is how you pronounce that. But um, resells for right around $80. Keep your eye out for it. It does several different motions. That's several different um, uh, features. So keep your eye out for it. A really great product. Let's just stop. Uh, the video kind of cut. So we're going to jump over to the next video right now, which isn't really something to resell. This is my collection piece. These are the Deneen mugs. See that, um, you know, pretty recognizable with that oval. And they'll usually have a place on it. There's the markings on the bottom. Uh, the more important thing to look out for is that symbol, like the upside down pyramid looking symbol. You definitely want to look for that when you are um, uh, picking up these mugs. And then, of course, it should have some other writing. If it doesn't, just sometimes it'll just have the symbol. So, great mug to pick up. If you're, I mean, if, to resell, it's around $10 to $15. Not crazy. The um, Death Wish Coffee is the one you definitely want to look out for. But um, that one, like $10 to $15. But I collect them, so it's going into my collection. Um, I don't mind paying a little bit more for stuff that I know I'm not going to resell that I'm going to add to my collection or for myself or my family, anything like that. I'm going to show you another Bolo, something to look out for. One second. 
And, you know, this is one of the reasons why I'm making the videos is because sourcing is so important. I mean, that's the most important thing. you got to find products no matter where you're selling at, no matter what online platform you're selling on. you got to find products and you got to find them at a price point where you can make a profit. Now, this item I'm going to show you here is um, a big profit item. And I we got to Goodwill. This will be featured in a video soon. But we got to Goodwill. And I do my usual, I'm going through the glass first. I'm running through my, my routine. I go check the glass, see what's in the glass. And then I circle back and I kind of go up through the through the toys. However, this time I kind of got caught off guard um, because uh, I was I went to go look. They were stocking um, uh, Target items, you know, the stuff they get from Target. So I went to the glass and I got diverted over there, started looking in that section, and then started circling back and kind of just weaved my way towards my usual routine so i wanted to get to the toy section first so i'm going to the toy section mind you other people have already gone through the toy section already and people that i know buy toys already have been through the toy section um resellers you know people collectors people have already gone through there and they missed everybody missed this item right here this is it right here so obviously it's a like a sarcophagus, mummy, pharaoh, uh, Egyptian piece here. And I noticed the face right off the bat. It just, it looks Lego. Okay. Again, these are Lego, <laughs> more Legos. So I noticed right off the bat it's a Lego piece. I pick it up and I notice, I hear, of course, there's Legos on the inside. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. I've never seen this before. So, you know, I am a Lego collector. I specialize more in the Star Wars and Marvel side of things. Uh, but there are, you know, there are a bunch of sets out there. There's so, I mean, you could be a Lego collector and just go into one category of Lego. Um, so this is an old Lego set. I believe, if I remember correctly, it's from 1998. And it's kind of got like Indiana Jones vibes kind of set. It's set number 5909. I'll show you one of the little minifigures here. They're kind of like, um, they're explorer or, or archaeologists and stuff like that. So this is like a little plane guy. And there's a couple of archaeologists in here as well, too. It's a small set, not very big. So I picked it up, and then, of course, I'm looking for the Le any Lego branding on it. It looks like Lego, but it might not have might not be official Lego. And sure, It says, not sure if that's going to come out on camera, but it says Lego Group on the back. So now I'm like, okay, this is official Lego. Something I've never seen before. I'm going to look it up. Sure enough, I look it up. I find out that it's a rare set. Um, it's an older. For, I find out it's an older set. And then not only that, but it's pretty rare too. So what did I pay for that? Five dollars and I'm sorry, four dollars and thirty nine cents. So round up, five bucks is what I paid for this whole set. I've already checked it out. It is complete. This set goes. <laughs> I keep moving it around. This set goes for two hundred dollars used and complete. And this set came with a small set of Lego figures, building uh, figures and a little airplane and a and a, a little jeep. And it came with the carrying case. So these are the uh, treasure treasure hunters. Let me just double check really quick. Uh, let's see. Lego 5909 is the set number. Lego 5909 is the treasure raiders. So the treasure raiders, look out for it. You know, I, I buy Legos all the time. And I was unfamiliar with this set. So... And then there were other people that walked through it. Other, other, other collectors, other resellers walked through already. This is why, like I was saying earlier, this is why I make the video so you guys can see this stuff. You guys can gain the knowledge to be able to, wherever you're at, to purchase these items. Legos are everywhere. Apple products might not be, you know, in your area with, you know, that are priced well. Or you might not see them that often. Uh, I, li I live next to, Ap near Apple headquarters, so... You know, I see a lot of Apple stuff. Legos, these things are everywhere. Disneyland, you might not see a lot of Disneyland stuff because you might be somewhere in the country where Disneyland's kind of far away. But, you know, I do see a lot of Disneyland stuff here in California. But if you ever do come across anything like this, look out for it. It's 80 bucks. I mean, I paid up for it a little bit, but it's still going to be great profit for this item. Keep your eye out for these, for these items, everybody. And I hope you guys are finding great items to resell. Um, the other, other disclaimer too, you can't just rely on these big hits, you know, $5 into $200. It's not, 
it's not something that to build your 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 business your ebay store whatever you sell on you know it's not something to build it around you're going to need to be picking looking out for these like four dollar four into twenty that's you know and then these mugs right here like this mug right here this is three basically three dollars into 15 you know there's still profit there but you start stacking all those little profits then you get those big hits and then we're making some good money here then we're rolling so with that i hope you guys appreciate the video and i appreciate all the new subscribers i appreciate any thumbs up on the video that really helps uh the ebay algorithm yes i'm gonna say it the ebay algorithm i know a lot of people talk about it at the end of the video please hit the thumbs up <laughs> Um, appreciate, uh, if you liked it, what you see, uh, appreciate, um, a subscribe and I appreciate, or if you want hit the thumbs up, uh, no, I already said the thumbs up, hit the bell notification. If you want to get notified when I drop new videos, check out my shorts. I drop a lot of interesting, cool things over there. Just kind of like one item here or there. You know, I, I try to do a few shorts a day with just cool stuff that I have or find, um, just a quick like little 15 second video or so is what I try to keep it at and then uh, the other channel is linked down below um, I haven't updated any videos on there as of late but it's just shipping right now I might change that in the future but it's just shipping if you need any help with shipping boxes how to ship um, I have that over there it's just me packaging stuff up and uh, Instagram is down below if you have any questions you can definitely drop them in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram as well. But that's all I have. We'll see you guys next video.